Hey, my name is Orville Story, trail name Thinker. Fixing to step off on the AT in nine days. Today's February 3rd, and uh, I get on the trail February 12th. Down here today in LA, Lower Alabama, enjoying the uh, sunshine, warm weather, knowing things are going to change drastically next week so I'm putting together a gear list and uh, going back and forth on a lot of different items but uh, I've got it together and we'll share it with you today and uh, we'll see if I made the right choices okie dokie my gear list for my through hike we'll start out with uh, the big items my duplex tent my call backpack. This thing's super light, but uh, it doesn't hold. It doesn't hold a whole lot. I put a big arc in it because I need that, and this, my back would get really sweaty if I don't. And uh, so I got two extra bags for the side to hold some items, and uh, it is super super light. Now let's get around here. I use a Western Mountaineering sleeping bag with a Nemo Rest sleeping pad, my pillows by Outdoor Vittles, and that, that's a sleeping bag and a liner stuck inside it. The sleeping bag and liner, uh, they've kept me warm in, um, you know, I believe it was 16 degrees when I was up doing my section hike, and they did a good job. Uh, my poncho, my rain gear is my poncho, my raincoat. I've got a, a kilt, um, my gaiters, and my my gloves. I went through two different pair of gloves. They didn't keep my hands warm. I didn't like being cold, so I got me a heavy duty pair of gloves, and these are, are waterproof gloves. I couldn't never find any mitts that were big enough for my hands once I put gloves on. Um, my hands are evidently are, are abnormally large, I guess. Then I got my bear bag, and uh, I broke in four pair of my Solomon 4D boots, all four pair ready to go. They, they, it didn't take much to break them in anyway, but I don't want to be walking with brand new boots anywhere on the trail. And so, I've experienced that in the past. That ain't a good thing. Got my headlamp, hand warmers. Those hand warmers, uh, they're, they're, they can be lifesavers. I'm going with a micro mo micro mo jet bowl cooking system. And uh, what I really like about this is this system simmers, which is important for me cooking my coffee in the morning. Got my French press. Got my bender uh, protein mix uh, mixer comb little cup fire starter and uh my ditch digger tp that little rest man i use that rest constantly through the day when i'm taking a break that thing is important for me plenty of bandanas and uh then I said the water system, I, I tried two of them on my section hike, a platypus system and a Sawyer Mini. I liked both of them, but there was things about um, both of my, this one didn't really flow as much as I liked. It takes a little bit too much time. This one's too heavy. So I kind of went and got me a regular Sawyer with a CNOC outdoors bag. And I've got my trusty bench made pocket knife. And my electronics, I've got me an uh, anchor charging system, portable charging system, and I've got me an anchor, it's supposed to be a super duper outlet charger so I can get all my stuff charged up. Got my Sony phone, my stick, my socks are uh, darn tough, got two pair of darn tough socks, two pair of liners, and I, on the, on my section height, 
at one point in time, and I can hike all day long when I'm wet, that's not a problem, but when you stop and you're wet, I got chilled. And it took some time for me to get my warmth back, so I always want to make sure that I'm going to have me a, a dry shirt or attempt to have me a dry shirt along the way. And Breeze, Long John's, got me a icebreaker vest, poofy vest, got me a Montbell poofy with hooded poofy. And these pants here, uh, they're, they're really good against the wind. I can, when it warms up, I can drop the bottoms and uh, send them back home. And basically, that is my, that's my list for the AT here in another nine days. These are my choices now. I've narrowed it down. I've gone over and over it, and we'll see if I made the right ones or not.